Hi, I'm Dr. Helen Ekman, full-time faculty in the School of Business and Professional Studies. This short video will explain to you, the MBA student, nine things you need to know about the MBA capstone course, which is taken at the end of your program. The capstone is the place for you to demonstrate your knowledge on how to create and lead dynamic global enterprises that will create value for stakeholders. First, you will demonstrate understanding about the critical issues in business and will show what you have learned in the 12 core classes of the MBA, such as accounting, economics, supply chain and operations, finance, human resources, marketing, leadership, innovation and strategy. You need to cite what you have learned from these classes, but you cannot cut and paste from old papers. Believe it or not, that is self-plagiarism. Second, for the capstone, you will create a business plan. You will need to demonstrate graduate level research, analysis, and writing. Your APA will have to be perfect. You will also present a short PowerPoint at the end of the project and this will need to be delivered professionally as well. Next, application is the key word for the capstone. You are to show that you have learned everything from your 12 core classes, but that you can apply this information. For example, the business you start will not be something simple as a consultancy, as you have to show mastery of financials and a simple consultancy does not give you enough data to create meaningful financials. The fourth thing you need to know is you will have to show business acumen. For example, if you use a particular leadership model, that model will need to be clearly explained in your mission and vision statement, your hiring and pay practices, as well as the job descriptions that you create. Number five, most students include an up-to-date resume as part of their appendices for their business plan. This is because the student is showing that their personal knowledge, skills, and abilities will help make this business plan successful. Six, you will have to demonstrate that you have learned the graduate voice, which means you are always presenting options and creating opportunities. You would never denigrate the competition or write about how badly some other business is performing. For example, you wouldn't write, wow, Taco Bell should not have tried to provide this new product without considering the cost. A professional way, an MBA way to write that is Taco Bell did not follow supply chain standards. And then you would cite Swink, which creates an opportunity and so on. You're a professional, ensure that your writing is also. Number seven, you have to show that you are actually creating something new with your business. You of course will do a literature review at the beginning to show that you are knowledgeable about the field you wish to start a business in, but your idea needs to be fresh. Number eight, when someone reads your business plan, they need to know that you have completely researched, analyzed, and demonstrated that your business plan is workable. The MBA degree is about results, and your business plan is to show that it is a viable, well-researched, and analyzed business plan. Lastly, know that you will invest 12 to 20 hours each week of this course. Ideally, you would not take the capstone with any other class, but the catalog requires that the capstone be taken at the very end of your program. Thank you for watching this short video about the nine things you need to know to be successful in the MBA capstone. Most students tell us it is the most exciting, most difficult, most fun they have had in the MBA. I wish you all the very, very best.